Hi everyone and welcome you all back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting video that I've kind of thought about doing for a while now but I'm just now filming it. Before anyone asks, my earrings are from my little store so I'll just have the Instagram down below. So in case you guys are interested, they're just gold with like some turquoise and they're just really cute especially for spring and summer. So I'm going to be showing you some bags that I've been loving and some bags that I haven't been using and why. So let's just go ahead and start with the sad side. So of course it is my LV Speedy 30. This is a classic. I feel like this bag was just basically the one that boomed my channel and you know it's just really sad to think back how bad I wanted this and the Neverfull and like once I had them it's just kind of like okay I have them like what's next you know I feel like the more we have the more we want and we're just like never happy with what we have and so that's something that I'm just really trying to like work on you know be happy with everything that I have because honestly I am very very blessed to have all the bags and all the things I have because I've worked very hard for them but still it's like you never really get to enjoy an item because you're always thinking of like the next thing so that's something I'm working on but if you guys want a video on that and if you know what I mean just comment down below but I remember I just lusted over this bag for so long and then when I finally had it I wore this bag to the grocery store to the bank on date nights like it was just ready I had all my things here so I just you know grabbed it and go I didn't have so many bags to like choose from to like rotate around but I really really do like this bag I'm definitely not gonna get rid of it just because it does hold a very special place in my heart I paid for it cash it was just so good to me and like it just holds so many memories and right now I just leave it in my room sitting as a display like decor I did use it I want to say about a month ago I went to McDonald's for a caramel frappe with my baby sister and I just wore it came back took everything out because I just I don't know I wasn't comfortable with it I guess it's just the whole top handle feel what kind of makes it a little annoying it's really cute though don't get me wrong this looks amazing with just like you know a plain outfit with like a camisole kimono and like jeans and you can also wear this with dresses and heels that's what I really like about this bag you don't have to like you know wear a certain outfit to make it look good because I know I do have some dressier bags that it looks a little weird if you wear jeans but yeah I mean I really do love this bag I'm really gonna try super hard for the remaining of the year to just wear it because it's just honestly a sin that it's just chilling in my room without being used so now a good bag has been my Longchamp lip pliage I cannot stop talking about this thing I love it so so much definitely worth the hundred something dollars or 200 I don't even know but it's just amazing I call it the waterproof bag so whenever I need something from this bag and like I'm in the living room I tell my baby sister get it from my waterproof bag and she knows which one we're talking about so this is it I love it so much I did just get the classic brown with the black you know nylon it's really really beautiful I don't know what bag I'm gonna wear today probably this one just because it's black and it just looks so good I've been you know raving so much about the all black neo one and it's kind of getting a little boring I know I'm sorry I just won't stop talking about things until I get it and you know that was the first point I made with the first bag like you're never like I guess complete you just always want more and um, don't worry I am working on it I promise you so I honestly love this bag I cannot wait for student teaching I'm just so excited to wear this bag of course I'm gonna wear it out for like errands and things like that even after student teaching or during student teaching inside of my bag I currently have an organizer and I have some hot Cheetos my boyfriend just came over and he dropped off some chips and get ready for my baby sister and I so I just have them in here for whenever I get hungry so yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful bag I really love how much it just fits it's so nice Thank you so much to everyone that commented and said to just get it because I will love it. There's nothing bad to say just other than it does get a little heavy but it's not annoying. Like my Neverfull would get heavy and you know it seems that just because it's a Neverfull Louis Vuitton people don't complain much about how heavy it is but they do complain for this one because it's not Louis Vuitton which is like kind of crazy doesn't make sense but I love this bag definitely recommend it you must get it okay so another bag on the bad list is this Michael Kors bag which is so sad because I remember I wanted this bag so bad and I got it for like my 21st birthday month you know what I mean like August so I just got it on August 1st and it was just so pretty to me and I was going through a baby pink phase I was just kind of crazy over baby pink I still am don't get me wrong it's still one of my favorite colors but I don't know this bag is really cute I don't know why I don't gravitate for it much it's probably just because 
like you know I kind of have like the bag that I like to wear to like the grocery store so I just kind of grab that this is really cute for that too it's just easy close to you I definitely do have to start wearing it more just because I don't reach for it anymore doesn't mean I don't like it so just saying that but this is what it looks like I really forgot the name of it I don't think it's a Selma I totally forgot but I should have a video on it on this actually and it does come with a long strap I actually should be wearing this today like it would look so cute like with this outfit but my earrings are just not doing it because teal and pink but I mean I just really want to wear the earrings today I might wear this soon though uh, the thing I really liked about crossbody bags when I like raved about them so much obviously because I was going to school and I would commute to school so I would always have a bag I would just carry a bag with like my lipstick all my cards um, you know just random purse needs that everyone needs so that's why I really like these purses back then but now since I'm not going to school like literally uh, it's just kind of like okay you know it's just kind of rotate the bags I have if I'm going to the store or like grocery store or something so yeah I definitely should be wearing this I feel like the color just kind of limits me a lot from like what to wear I definitely do like wearing a lot of basic neutral colors I'm starting to add some color just because I know that I'm gonna be working with kids and I don't want to be wearing just like plain black plain white plain cream colors all the time so I did get some fun colored tops so if you guys want me to do a teacher like student teacher clothing haul I definitely will and I know some of you guys are probably like you're gonna look like this when you student teach like no don't worry if you guys want like a makeup tutorial on like what to wear like to the professional side of the world let me know because this is like this is me okay this is the glam me like this is me okay for obviously professional purposes I don't wear like the big lashes I do minimal makeup I look like I know what I'm doing because I know a lot of people judge a lot by how much makeup they wear which is kind of sad but I'm obviously not gonna have time to get ready in the morning if I wake up like at five something every day but yeah anyways this bag it's sad it breaks my heart but I'm gonna try to wear it I promise you okay so I'm pretty sure you guys knew I was gonna add this on here this is a YSL large envelope bag I cannot stop talking about it if you watch my things I've been loving video then you probably already saw it uh, I'm definitely gonna do a video on it just like by itself and just talk about pros and cons and how I wear it, what I put on it, and everything like that, just so you guys kind of know more about it. But I do want to make more videos involving this bag because I know there's not many videos on this specific bag because I know when I wanted it, I couldn't find many videos. So I was watching the same videos like literally every single day, but it's all good. So I definitely really, really do like this bag. Again, this is a very dressy bag. So it looks a little odd with jeans, but I don't really care. Like fashion and style, like it's just whatever you feel more comfortable in. But for me, like it does look a little funny. I don't know, but I still wear it with jeans. Like I don't care. I just don't think it looks best. I definitely do wear this with dresses. I wore this on Saturday with a black dress and my Tory Burch Miller sandals and nude ones. It looks so cute. So yeah, I definitely really, really do love this bag. It doesn't fit like a crazy bunch, but it does still fit a good amount. It's just like a black interior. So it's really nice in case like it gets dirty, you know, you don't really see that much. And the straps look like this. On Saturday date night, I wore the bag like this, but you know, later on at night, I just went ahead and strapped down and just wore it as a crossbody. I don't like it on just like one shoulder because I feel like it hits too low. But when I cross over it, it's like this. And I really do like it. I mean, I do feel like it kind of takes over my body weight too much. Which is why I'm just looking more into the YSL Kate. I'm dying to get it in black, but I still don't know if I want it like with the silver, the black or the gold hardware. So just let me know which one do you prefer. I was thinking more like the silver, but I feel like it kind of looks like not so high quality i don't know i have to see it in person i did see some ysl kates in person like in the beginning of the year but i totally forgot i tried on the black and black that looked fabulous i love it so much but my mom says that it doesn't look classy and she wants me to go for the gold but this is already in gold and a lot of my bags have gold so i don't know give me your advice because i still have time to think about it and choose what i want because like i said I am buying no more bags till I don't know when. And yeah guys, that pretty much completes today's video. I hope you all enjoy. I know it was kind of like crazy trying to go back down memory lane and showing you guys bags that I haven't talked about in a while. So it was very exciting to just kind of see like what I have and everything like that. So I'm definitely going to put all of my bags just like displayed out and just kind of take a look at them and really know what I want and fits now for my lifestyle since I wasn't the same person I was a year ago. I'm not doing the same things. So I'm just in another place. So different things work for different people in their different times so i hope that makes sense i hope you all enjoy and i will see you all in my next video bye girls